The race for dominance in the chip industry is well known, with the United States and China engaged in fierce competition. Both nations are actively vying for control over semiconductor intellectual property and manufacturing. The U.S. aims to revitalize its chip production, utilizing sanctions to impede China's efforts towards self-sufficiency in this crucial sector. Although China currently lacks the capability to mass-produce advanced chips or deploy cutting-edge semiconductors like those already utilized in Western consumer products, there's a widespread expectation that they may rapidly improve their capabilities. Experts worldwide acknowledge that the U.S. has the option to intensify sanctions and bolster safeguards to hinder China's advancements. However, the proverbial saying holds true, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. In this video, we'll delve into China's strategies for emerging victorious in the chip war. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more insightful videos like this one. The U.S. Strategies to Contain China The semiconductor industry is crucial for technological advancements like artificial intelligence, electric vehicles, and factory automation, playing a vital role in a nation's economic prosperity and security. Despite the United States accounting for 25% of global semiconductor demand, its manufacturing capacity has decreased from 37% in the 1990s to just 12%, raising concerns about national security threats due to China's efforts to establish a significant presence in this essential industry. Additionally, China's growing economic and geopolitical strength has made the U.S cautious. Since 2022, the United States has implemented export controls as part of its strategy to impose sanctions on China, particularly in the technology and semiconductor sectors. Export controls are measures to restrict the export of specific goods, technologies, or services for reasons such as national security and protection of sensitive technologies. To achieve this, the U.S. government has placed restrictions on individuals or companies selling advanced semiconductors directly to China. U.S. persons are now prohibited from engaging in activities that support the production of advanced semiconductors in China. The U.S. has also urged allies like Japan, South Korea, and the Netherlands to cease selling chips and advanced chip manufacturing equipment to China. For example, the U.S. successfully pressured the Dutch company ASML to halt the export of chip-making tools to China. Furthermore, the U.S. has introduced the Chips and Science Act, allocating $52.7 billion over five years to enhance domestic chip production, research and development, and workforce programs. However, the Act faces challenges in translating its goals into reality. Companies seeking $150 million or more in funding must meet specific conditions, including limitations on stock buybacks, profit sharing, and a preference for union labor. China's Counterattack In China, a discrete fund known as the Big Fund has been the primary channel for Beijing to allocate capital to the country's chipmakers for the past nine years. Established in 2014, the China Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund operated largely behind the scenes, keeping its investment standards confidential. Although details about its operations were not publicly disclosed, records indicate that two funds were raised, totaling $19 billion in 2014 and $27 billion in 2019. Presently, China is gearing up to launch a new state-backed investment fund with the goal of raising approximately $40 billion for its semiconductor sector. The big fund has previously supported major Chinese chip foundries like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation and Hua Hong Semiconductor, as well as Yangtze Memory Technologies, a flash memory maker, along with several smaller companies and funds. Adding to this, Huawei, a prominent Chinese telecommunications company, recently unveiled its most powerful smartphone, featuring an advanced chip produced by 
SMIC. This development suggests China's progress in reducing reliance on American technology despite U.S. sanctions. However, a matter of concern for U.S. lawmakers is China's substantial investments in legacy chip manufacturing. The majority of China's current manufacturing capacity focuses on legacy chips, those with 28 nanometers or larger. In the next three to five years, China plans to add nearly as much new wafer capacity for 50, 180 nanometer chips as the rest of the world combined. Additionally, China intends to construct 26 fabrication plants by 2026, 10 more than in the Americas. This ambition to dominate global legacy chip production poses a significant economic and national security threat to the United States, as legacy chips are integral to various products from household appliances to military weapons systems. Similar to its approach with solar technology, China could potentially edge out foreign competitors through dumping, creating a dependence on China for mature chips worldwide. Today, China has achieved complete dominance in the solar supply chain. According to a report by Wood Mackenzie, China is projected to control over 80% of the world's solar manufacturing capacity until 2026, effectively meeting global demand for much of the next decade. The substantial capacity expansion has led to a significant decrease in solar panel prices this year, causing unease among U.S. producers relying on a government-supported domestic manufacturing surge. A similar scenario could unfold in the semiconductor industry. Leveraging its prowess in mass manufacturing, China has the potential to assert control over the supply chain for semiconductor production, particularly in legacy chips. Beijing's decision to invest billions in factories producing these legacy chips has raised concerns about China's increasing influence and market dominance. Legacy chips, manufactured with 28 nanometer equipment or larger, remain crucial for various global sectors. The worry is that Chinese companies might saturate global markets with these legacy chips, undercutting foreign competitors and establishing dependencies on China for essential technology components. Taiwan's Role in the Chip War the discussion about the chip war between the U.S. and China remains incomplete without considering Taiwan. This small island, situated south of China, plays a crucial role in the semiconductor industry. The Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, is not only the world's largest contract chip manufacturer, but also Asia's most valuable listed company, valued at $600 billion. Much of the global semiconductor supply chain relies on Taiwan. TSMC, responsible for producing 90% of the world's most advanced processor chips, estimates that making leading-edge chips in the U.S. would cost up to 50% more than in Taiwan due to labor costs and differing worker norms. Recognizing the potential supply chain disruptions arising from regional geopolitical tensions, TSMC is rapidly establishing fabrication facilities outside Taiwan. Given that TSMC is the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer, the U.S. is keen to prevent it from falling into China's hands. The consequences of China acquiring TSMC would mean winning the chip war and leading the semiconductor industry. Considering that almost every electronic device, smartphones, cars, household appliances, relies on semiconductors, this underscores Taiwan's critical importance to the U.S. The U.S. policy towards Taiwan is characterized by strategic ambiguity. While Washington acknowledges the One China policy, recognizing Taiwan as part of China, it simultaneously supplies weapons to Taiwan and declares its support for the island. Regardless of the diplomatic complexities, Taiwan holds significance for the U.S. both economically and strategically due to its location in the first island chain. The battle for dominance in the chip war has become a trillion-dollar question.
this conflict transcends mere geopolitical tensions and is now a formidable competition. Determining the winner in the chip war is highly challenging. Given the global hegemony of the U.S., some nations may seek to form alliances with the U.S. and its allies, allowing the U.S. to assert dominance in semiconductor technology for artificial intelligence and military applications. On the other hand, China leads in microelectronics, particularly in areas like cloud computing and electronic devices. Economists suggest that in the chip war, there might not be a clear winner. Instead, there will only be losers, with consumers ultimately bearing the brunt. The US and China are each carving out their niches in the semiconductor landscape, making predictions about a decisive winner uncertain. What are your thoughts on this complex scenario? Share your comments and insights below. If you found this information valuable, please show your support by liking the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your subscription means a great deal to us.